Okay, food break accomplished. What are we doing now? We finished up the tourney side quest. What quest do we want to work on next? I feel like we should focus on the ones that are like main... Like, they have to do with people that we know, kind of thing. Or I don't know. Or we could just start from the top. Next one is go to Corvo Bianco, which is actually my new home base, right? They gave me that property as my own. So, yeah. Looking forward to me saying the name of the cemetery. Oh, I overlooked it. I guess I didn't try to read it. We'll have a chance. But anyway, let's go to Corvo Bianco, which is just right over here, actually. The place where we found uh, <clears throat> the Bru the Bruxa who murdered hella people. Oh, the graveyard is part of the main quest. Oh, then of course, yes, we'll we'll definitely be checking, trying to say that name at some point. I don't know what we're supposed to actually do here. We're supposed to talk to somebody. Oh, maybe we got to talk to this guy. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve No, it's definitely called Major Bianco, Domo sir. Corvo Bianco. Corvo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case... You must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Alrighty then. Anything Vineyard else? comes across <clears throat> as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair, went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Okay. <clears throat> this is basically going to be my Sukadin castle. Hell yeah, dude. Can't wait to get those 108 stars of destiny. Let's go. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. I'm just wondering, like, what benefits are to having a home base in this game? Other than, like, Behold, maybe sir, your estate I don't know. in all Let's just its see. splendor. So splendiferous. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Okay. You've been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Okay then. Major Domo, yo. Yeah. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. 
With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Sure. I need to know where my Did peasants live. Slips. My back aches, something horrid. Yeah, I don't care. I didn't make you do anything, so don't blame me. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. But they look beautiful, especially Don't look at all bad now, either. Uh-huh. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Would you kindly change from that clanky armor? I mean, I can, and I was planning on it. Sorry, I'm still wearing this shit armor. I didn't mean to keep wearing it. They put me in it, and I forgot to switch out of it. That's my bad. Nah. Actually, is stronger than what I'm wearing, to be fair. Even my master-crafted griffin stuff isn't stronger than this armor, surprisingly. It's actually plus 10 stronger than all my shit. But I'm wearing the griffin armor. It's so good. Wait. Geralt of Rivia's sword is not better than this sword, huh? Okay. Yep, seems my sword is actually cool. I mean, it does look like actual medieval armor, no doubt. But look how cool my griffin armor is! It's all golden and shit! I haven't really been wearing it much yet on screen. Also, gotta wear my glasses, yo. Gotta wear my glasses, yo. That's the most important part of the outfit. Wine adorns your head with thorns. Nice, well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius room for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close. And the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. He drank himself to death? <laughs> Not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Oh, that other armor is heavy armor. That is true. That's why it has higher defense. So, yeah, I'm sure my my gen, my stamina regen is better with this armor for sure. Monsieur Besides, look Bolius, his wife, Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Are we having fun taking tours of my home? Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. I might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Barnabas Basil, what a name. Light armor's even lower, but even more stamina regen. Well, that's what I would imagine. Makes you quick like a kitty. Kitty, you cat. You still say cat school is the best school? If you like being super fast, I suppose that's not hard to say. I really wanted to do the wolf armor, but I don't really... I think I was missing... Actually, you know what? I take that back. I said I got all the blueprints. I was missing the wolf blueprints for, like, superior or something. I was missing one of the levels. additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Roach is stable, okay. What's the sign your cat did? The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossel used it to store olive oil as well. 
I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Yep, that Bruxa that I brutally fucked up. Hell yeah. Anyway, are we done with this tour? As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it, a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. A bit of subtle paint. Are we going to go take an inside tour now? I'm assuming so. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. Are we going to have side quests to get paintings? The full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Okay. Um, how much does it cost? Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Um... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely don't regret putting the glasses back on Geralt because now I match with this homie. <laughs> um, I don't really care. We're going to do all of it at some point, I imagine. I've been thinking the about the outer walls. <clears throat> Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which that could be awesome. Collector. You know what? I'll, I can spare five thousand for that. Let's do it. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are so the we can display some cool armor and shit? I'd be down. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Alright, so it'll be done in two days. We'll come back naturally. Is there anything, I'm not going to make two days pass. Else you require, sir? No, that's cool, but we can... Can we do all the upgrades right now? Let's see. Got these spacious grounds. Hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. How much is this going to cost me, I, I wonder? I see things, given your trade. Sir. Yes, that's you what I want. wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? I'm down. How much does that cost? I'm down for both. My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorous tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Cost? A thousand? Psh. Good. Order me up a table Piddly like that. Pennies! Sir. Pennies! I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. I got money for days. Be anything so else, I ain't tripping sir. right now. I'll take a grindstone too. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Hell yeah, give me that too. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. So after a couple days, my place is going to be all be nice and spruced up. Else, Hell yeah. Sir. Um, you got any other topics to talk about? You know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. 
I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Nope, we're good. See ya. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Alright, so cool. Basically make this place awesome. And after we wait a few days, we're gonna make this place already more awesome as it is. So, while I'm here, where's the item box? Was it... Wait, was it down there or was it up here? It's probably in the master bedroom, which is down here. <laughs> Not in the mood to talk redecorations, even though I totally just redecorated so many things. Wait, weapon rack? Oh, shit. You know what? Display my Geralt of Rivia sword. Why not? I'm not going to use that sword again, probably. So that's a perfect sword to uh, no items in inventory. Okay, so I don't have any trophies I can place here. Really? That surprises me. Cool, you can display your shit. I like this. All right, my main thing right now is I'm going to store the Geralt of Rivia armor because I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to use it right now, though. I don't know if this crossbow is worth keeping. Ophiary Ov crossbow. I'll store it for now. Did you stash my trophies? No, I didn't. I have trophies. I have a ton of trophies. Like, look at all these trophies I have. They're just not letting me display them, I guess. Maybe that's not the right place to display those trophies? I don't really know. I definitely didn't do anything with my trophies, though. Use? Oh. Uh. I guess this is just showing all of my books. I have a lot, in case you can tell. Seems silly, but okay. Hang a painting. Ooh, I have paintings. Oh, I have these paintings. I forgot about these paintings. Uh. Starry Night Over the Pontar. Painting of High Arc Hemelfart. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I bought them. Okay. I bought the paintings from the from the auction. I forgot about that. There you go. Put your shield up, son. Put your shield up, son. Yo, dude. This place is going to be sick. Hemelfart, yo. Is there any more painting spots? I got at least one more painting. There probably will be more spots later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, cool. Now Hemelfart can watch over you while you're sleeping. Exactly. All right, next, we'll just go do this one. The Isle Unlock. Actually, I'm not going to an island right now. It's probably too far away. So wait, the main quest wants me to go to... Ooh, that's going to be hard to say. Meet Regis at Mir Lachelon. Lachelon. That's how I'm going to say it. La Chalon Cemetery. Mere La Chalon. I don't know. That's probably close. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking French with all its extra goddamn vowels. It's like, Mere, Mere La Chaise Longu. <laughs> That's how it looks. All right. Anyway, um... We could go to this other cemetery, the Olemu. This is the Gwent deck. This is the diagram for the Witcher armor. These are more Gwent. Merchants at the camp? I don't know what that's about. I guess I'll just stick with this one. Let's go check this one out. That was pretty close pronunciation. Thank you. I could speak French. Easy peasy. I just think French is one of the weirdest languages out there. It really is. Like, so weird. You're not sure how it be pronounced correctly? Well, me neither. But I can guess. That's about all I got. All right, let's head back over here and uh, see what this quest is about. I don't know if the ch is sh or like a k. Yeah, I don't either, man. I can only guess based on the French things I've seen before and the fact that French is just weird in general. But anywho, let's get over here and see what's up at the cemetery. I don't even remember what this is for. We're looking for somebody's grave here. I don't really remember why, but here we are. Oh, look, some drowner friends. Hello. Hello. 
Hi, Drowner friends. I hardly knew you. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Stop it. Ow. Oh, you know what to shake and bake. Okay. The Google lady said it very close, just pronouncing the G. Okay. Interesting. Moreau is the Witcher mutations researcher. Oh, right. The Witcher mutations. I forgot about that. That's the thing. Okay, well, let's check this out. Either way, I'm I'm down to check out all the like main side quests. So that's what we're doing. Yo, what's up, Dandy? Welcome in, sir. How are you today? I'm going to grab this treasure over here, whatever it is. Ooh, it's going to be one of these where I have to find the treasure. Okay. Armed escort, da da da. Contract ceremony. I'm doing this one right now. Somehow it's an escort. That's something I do often. It might be worth investigating. There's a treasure here. Hold up. I'm gonna get it. Hold up. I'm gonna get it. Hold up. Gonna get it. Hold up. Gonna get it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Wait, what? Which cemetery? Not this cemetery. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let's get this treasure real quick. This is one of those random like hidden treasure quests where you sometimes pick up keys and you gotta go pick up the treasure. Let's just get it real quick. It's right over here. I'm sure it's not too hard to find. Not good. Da da da. Where is it at? Da da da. I've done a lot of these off screen where you find the key or a note and then you gotta go find the treasure. <clears throat> it's one of those side quests where it's like, I could wait to do it on my own time or whatever, but just a treasure. But we might as well do it if it's right here. If I can find it. You just woke up from one of those naps you didn't mean to take, and you slept in an awkward position, so you feel rested but in pain. Yeah, I, I can, I can concur with that kind of nap, dandy. But welcome in, dude. How are you today? I mean, besides in pain from your well-rested nap. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe it's down here. Is it down here somewhere? In the mausoleum crypt area? Uh, maybe? I didn't actually expect to be able to go all the way down this far. Jesus. Yeah, it's probably down here. There we go. Well, maybe. You grave robbing bitches! How dare you? Burn in hell, motherfuckers! Burn to hell, motherfuckers! Ow, 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 ow! Stop it! Stop it! Burn to hell, motherfuckers! Fucker. Noises could be coming from grave robbers. Can't know for sure, though. Need to wait till after dusk to confirm. Oh, was there another quest here, too? There must have been. Anyway, you're doing great. Otherwise, you're super pumped for Horizon Bit Forbidden West on uh, the 18th. Yeah, it's coming soon, man. I'm obviously not going to touch it day one, but it's good for people who are trying to play shit day one. So, you know, they can uh, do it before I do. And then when I play, y'all can watch. Because that's what I'm probably doing when I'm going to stream it. I got to get a PS5 first, though, if I want to do it justice. All right, I found the treasure I was looking for, though. Here we go. Bunch of shit in there. Lots of random shit. Lots and lots of random shit. Do I want these swords? Might as well take them just to see. There's a lot of loot down here. I mean, worst case, I could sell all the shit for money. You need coffee to recover from these kinds, those kinds of naps, uh, Sparty. Yeah. The older we get. The more we gotta work around being old and shit, you know what I mean? What annoys you about these naps is that they always seem to happen on days right after you get back from the chiropractor, which is what happened today. You fell asleep on your lounge chair, so your neck's in pain. Damn, right after the chiropractor situation. That is unfortunate, sir. Yeah, I'd know all about being old. I mean... We're all in the same age range, most of us around here, okay? We're all in our... Early to mid thirties, maybe late thirties in some I cases. Once had they go, or should I say, she once had... Ooh. 
No, I know it was a joke. You're trying to call me old. I get it. I get it. But so are the rest of us, is my point. So, ha. Alright, anyways, is this the grave? Are you the grave? Patrick Moulins talked himself to death. That's a big ass grave for somebody who talked himself to death. For sure. Thomas. Tomas Moreau, that's him. Ellis Cavani Alder Ein Dolnade Ellis Alder and Corazon Glorson A I Loren. I am master at speaking Elvin. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Damn, Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. He's dead as fuck. Follow the grave robber trail? Oh shit, there's a grave robber trail. Okay. Follow him. Follow him. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody's small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. So hearts and elven is corazon? I mean, it might be, which would be funny, because corazon is Spanish. It's heart. Oh, yeah, that's right. Danny's not even 30 yet. That's right. I forgot. I mean, DJ is also not very... I mean, I think DJ's even younger than you, Dandy. Wait, does these footprints continue, or what's going on here? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, wait, no, maybe, no, maybe, no, maybe, no. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, right. the path mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Okay. Check the location of the... What? Yennefer sent me? I mean, like, I know she sent me a map and everything, but, like, I have to actually look at a map? Uh, man. I don't even know where that is, man. Location of the Navda on whatever Yennefer sent me. Quest item. Map. 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 Is this the map? Sure. I don't know if that's the map. Yen sent me or not. But... Site marked on the map's all wet now. Oh, okay. That did work. Flows through there. Must be where the valley of the Ring once lay. Need to explore the location. You like my cluttered ass inventory, Dandy? I have a lot of things. I mean, most likely Corazon in Elvish is something like heart related. Like, just probably just heart. In fact, we're gonna ride over here because we haven't been over here yet. We're going to a new spot, y'all. Let's go. Probably going to get a new teleport spot while we're at it. And also, there's a notice board or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and take a gander at that and grab some more side quests, I'm sure. So let's go do that. But yes, enjoy my clutter. Fear my clutter. Cl I don't know. Ah, oh, right into a wall. We're heading down here. Hitting down here to the Belgard Vineyard. All right. Hello, Belgard. This place is fucking gorgeous. I like it. This game's got a pretty, a unique and pretty graphical style that borders on realism and cartoonish. I mean, it does look pretty gorgeous, especially this DLC in particular. This DLC is awesome, like visually. Very, very highly colorful. I like it. Uh, won't let me ride through. There's too many rocks and shit in the way. Who's attacking me? I don't really care. Unless they're gonna come at me, dog. I ain't worried about it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Big ass plants and shit. See ya. I'm out. Bye. We ain't playing with big plants today. See ya. We'll come back to that. <laughs> I'm just exploring right now. I'm not trying to fight everything I see. Where the hell am I going? Did I already pass the place? I didn't. I completely went by this. But I didn't even go over here. I meant to go over here first. Oh well. We'll come back to that, I guess.
Oh, is there somebody around here who wants to fucking throw hands? I don't really give a shit, homie. Um, search for the entrance to the professor's lab flooded in the room. It's probably right below here, seeing as how there's a marker. If only you could place down markers. I can, DJ. You shut your mouth. I just didn't because I thought I was headed toward that direction. Didn't know the Piranha Plant invaded from the Mario Kingdom? Well, apparently it did. Also, this... Oh, shit. Never mind. Dude, turn around, Geralt. I need to go... Oh, my God. This camera sometimes, when you're swimming, is the fucking worst. Just FYI. Go away, Drowner. I'm busy. This is a bad choice. This is a bad choice. Bad choice. Bad choice. Bad choice. Get breath. Get breath. Oh, that sound effect was. Hella croons. Give me all your croons. I just spent like 7k croons doing upgrades. Damn, hella dies and shit? What the hell? Oh, I need a locked... Oh, there's a key missing. Oh, well... Maybe we'll find the key around here somewhere. Uh, wait, are we even in somewhere right now? Aw, oh, really? Is this not even where I'm supposed to be? This isn't even where I'm supposed to be right now. Dude. I just found a secret fucking cavern, cavern for nothing. With a fucking locked chest that's red, so that must mean it's like a required like quest place. Also, why is my uh, crossbow not being loaded up when I try to fucking fire it? Hello? I was trying to load it up and shoot these drowners. Shoot them! What are you doing? There you go. How hard was that? I'm gonna get breath and then we'll come back down. Dude, fuck your shit! My nose is being a bitch right now, too. One second. All right. This is probably the ruins in front of me. You're reading about Yudi Pineda, Pineda right now? She's a Colombian woman who trained to become a nun, but then decided to do porn instead. She signed with Bang Bros now. Wow. Colombian nun is now a fucking porn star. Good shit. Hey, look, there's a portal. There you go. I think I found the entrance, y'all. Who the fuck is yawning? It sounded like a big ass yawn to me. Found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Surprises this place has in store. I'm sure, it'll be a grand old time. Somebody lit all these torches, right? That static I heard a minute ago was Planted just spice. on the radio. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Oh boy. Is that just timed? Looks like it's just timed. Ooh. Ooh. I'll take all your things, thank you. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, my God. I was stuck, dude. Don't, don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. I thought death was coming to us all. Oh, boy. Okay. Guess I'll keep robbing all this random loot shit just to sell for later or whatever. You never know what you might need. 
You wish you had some of these light sources that burn indefinitely? Yeah, me too, man. Just a torch that never goes out. Oh, God. Oh, God! Get some cats! Get some cats! Bitch! Bitch! Huh. Get some cats. Eat my sword, batch. Whoop those cats' asses. Some LED lights last for years. True. True. But there are no torch, okay? Yeah, exactly. If a power outage happens, boom! Torch lasts forever. It's on fuego. Ooh, do I want to go down there? There's something. All that for a dull meteorite axe. Do I regret it? We're going to find out. There's a key. Or a key. A key plus. Well, a soaked. key thing to look Maybe at. Maybe Robert was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the Panthers, at least. Managed to avoid the Panthers, eh? Okay. You live to fight another day. The Panthers won't eat your ass today, boy. It's one of those days where my nose is just being a real asshole. Itching and being a bitch. Stop it. What are you doing? Professor Moreau's di diary. Hello, hello. We got to fight again? Most likely. Whoa! I'm glad I moved out of the way. Just finish him. I try to do a heavy hit for no reason. So unnecessary. -o. Anything else around me? What's in here? Ooh, nothing. Ooh. and shit. Oh, what's going on here, Trappy Poo? You won't get me. Yeah, you will. What What that? Do I shoot that with an arrow? What do I do? Hmm. Well, let's see. This is the only thing I can interact with directly. Of course. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. One. To who? Drahi. Where's the fourth one at, though? Way down there? Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. What? Can I take a ride down here? No! No fall! I hate everything. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I didn't want to fall. I was just jumping to see what would happen. And fucking of course when Geralt jumps he lunges forward a little bit. So annoying. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, I see the last one. It's right there, dummy. Did it. Hmm. 
interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. We should look around. Hello, weird Cargo statue. Sure don't look willing to help. Definitely not helpful. Not helping. Intruder. Intruder. You are not welcome. Well, you are either, bitch. Ooh. Apparently, I needed those gargoyle parts. He is a very chonky gargoyle for sure. Oh, gargoyle paw. Okay. Ah. This just keeps getting better. Choices, y'all. Choices. Well, from where I walked in, always left. Always left. All right. Now to find the next portal. Great. A portal maze. My favorite. All right. Well, always left. Okay, so that, that brought me back to where we started. That's fine. That's fine. Gonna go back to starting with left. And now we're gonna go right. Damn it. Back where I started. Hmm, back where I started again, okay. Right, right. Now to find the next portal. Right, right, right. Okay, it must be the one across the way then over here. Oh, I can't get to that one. Or can I? Can I just drop down? Is that the idea? Oh, that makes me have way more choices. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, well, I can climb up there. Or I can try one of these ones down here. I'm going to try the one above first. This is the one across the way, right? Yeah, definitely. Let's try this one first. So we found the second portal to take. Okay. This one goes all the way around. Oh, boy. Okay, well. I guess just start process of elimination. Left. Damn it. Damn it. Wrong again. Could be some clue around here. Around here. Maybe there is a clue that, like, tells me which one to take. There probably is. I mean, there is a statue. Is the statue pointing to where to go, maybe? Hold on. Right. How to find the next portal. Ah, the statue is pointing where to go. Okay. So that statue's facing that way. So we'll try this one up here, I guess. I don't know if it matters below or above. I don't know how you tell. Ah, I am genius. Must be where Moreau had his lab. I am genius. Just need to pick an entry. What? 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 What am I doing? Oh, I see. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witcher's my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, 
I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Jerome, huh? So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations. Wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. No crystal? Does that mean there's no entry? Crystal for this entry's missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Okay. So there's some more crystals laying around that we need to go find. Let's just go through the ones we see. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat my food while we listen to these. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations. Further augmented his speed and strength. Rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. <coughs> so the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Um, we're not done. But I guess we could click the last one. Crystal for this entry's missing. Might be somewhere. <coughs> Should look around. I could probably watch the rest of these if I actually find them. So, Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. I can become faster. Use the stronger. Of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Giant centipede eggs, huh? Oh, Jesus, sorry. Well. Let's look around, I guess. They might be around here somewhere. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. I'm guessing. Oh, there's one crystal. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Yeah, I kind of want to find the missing crystals before I continue on with the main thing, which is to find the egg. Or abdomen. There they are. All right, let's go watch these. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Missing two crystals. I have them. Just need to pick an entry. Let's watch the new ones. Might have been wise to pick them up and watch them in order, but oh well. Observation 22. 
despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual. The subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Ooh, better toxicity? Okay. <clears throat> And the last entry that we haven't seen. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did, in a sense, come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. All in all, it just sounds like we're going to be stronger after all this. <clears throat> Seen enough. All right, let's find this dang centipede abdomen, shall we? Uru must have kept his son in here. Grim. I found another recipe for something. <clears throat> right, the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Witcher mutations, indeed. Centipede, centipede, where are you? Do I actually have to kill a centipede for this shit, or is it just gonna be. Uh -huh. Mom's awake and she's not in the grip. Yeah, we're we'll fighting a centipede. Here we go. Oh, this thing is terrifying. No joke. Okay, um, burn it. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Ah! I should look at that mutagen recipe. Alright, I will. Ow! Ah, come on, man. Let me just attack him. Ah, yeah, yeah. This ain't a no lie, yeah, yeah. My boy Gerald getting fucked up, up. <clears throat> Fuck you, centipede. That's like some rattlesnake sound and shit. Come at me, rattlesnake tail widow bitch. Oh shit, I was trying to attack the other one. I'm gonna get like three hits in before it goes back underground. Finish him! Alright, one down. Two down. See ya, motherfuckers! Give me your eggs. Nope, didn't get an egg from that one. Or that one. Okay. Wait, that didn't... Neither of them dropped a fucking... What? Oops, I didn't mean to fall, by the way. I didn't get an egg from either of those fuckers. What the heck? But yeah, let me check out that recipe real quick before I forget. <clears throat> um... Or just look at the actual alchemy, I'm assuming. We can look at the the mutagen. What was it called? Oh, these are things I can make. That's what somebody was telling me. You have to actually make this stuff. Okay, I'm dumb. That's what somebody was telling me. You have to actually make this stuff. Why I didn't register that in my brain? <clears throat> I don't know. Why don't I have white goal? I thought I had white goal potions. Do I not? You can make a color from another color? Is that how this works? Did I not pick up the, uh... Hold up. I got the recipe... 
Green, green, red. Maybe it's in a different spot. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure, DJ. Anyway, I haven't really been paying attention to this stuff today, but here's a relic oil I can upgrade to enhanced. Do I not have white gold as a potion? I'm so confused. Did I never get the recipe for white gold or something? Or is that just something else I need to get that's called white gold? Like to make all these ingredients. And how do I, I just, I'm just surprised I have none if it's an item I can pick up. That's just crazy. Anyway, we need to find this dang centipede abdomen. God damn it. Stop being a bitch. Dude. Dude. Let me hit you. Oh my god. I'm noobing it up, dog. Dog. I'm trying to fucking hit him. Let me hit him. Ah. Annoying the heck out of me, dude. Oh my god. I'm so fired. Jesus. These are no these are an annoying enemy. <sighs> I'm getting salty. I'm getting salty. Just heal so you don't die, idiot. God damn it! Fucking die! These enemies are real piece of shit. Wow, how did I not? Ooh, ooh, I'm getting ooh, getting salty, baby, bruh. Bruh. How am I not hitting this fool? Jesus. Frustration, man. You're being a real butthead. Real Mick butthead. There's my abdomen egg things. Give me all of them. Give me all of them. That's incorrect. There you go. Ah! I didn't realize it was going to be such a long drop. Okay, so we just came out right there. Okay. Uh, oh, apparently we didn't take this book. Nor this mutagen. Okay. Cool. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. I mean... Hearing what we just heard, those experiments were definitely no bueno. Oh, this is a portal out of here, isn't it? Probably. All right, well. Oh. Oh, and then we put ourselves in the machine. Oh, boy. You guys ready? Mutate! No machine where where full gear. And how do I start to drop my armor, leave my weapons? So I just have to take it off? Just unequip that shit? I gotta keep my eyes protected though. It's very important. Professor's mutagens might work on me if they get on his son. Well, time to find out. Oh boy. I'm gonna come out like the green fucking goblin, yo. 
That's what this reminds me of. You've unlocked the mutation system. Mutations let you gain capabilities, increasing your advantage over normal men and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. Ooh, character panel. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, we got a new thing in the character panel, which I will check out in a moment. Let me re-equip my shit real quick. Equip my master crafted armor. I should throw runes in all of my armor since it's master crafted and shit too. I really should. Which sword was I using? I was using the. Oh, I. Never mind. Yeah, I should put some shit in my weapons. I haven't been doing this like at all. <clears throat> I should. I have good stuff too. 5% chance to stagger. Fuck yeah, let's put that on. Uh, poison? Put it on. Upgrade sign intensity. Upgrade chance to freeze. That could be fun. Armor piercing? Yeah. Chance to stun. I'm going to put that on that one. Bleeding. Attack power. Yes. Give me that. All right. Cool. That's all my swords. Let's do some armor ones while we're at it. Ard sign intensity. Axie. Are these just all sign intensities? They are, right? Yeah. Well, I definitely use Axe uh, Igni probably the most. Ah. Uh, okay. Remember, you can only change the color of items belonging to Witcher gear sets. Oh, I can use the dyes on my armor. Yo. I can make my armor cool. Bro, I didn't know. That's exciting. Always like that rune show up when you use the swords. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Um, I definitely use the push one the second most, I would say. Which is Ard, right? Yeah. But yeah, I'll put the this one on the legs. I'll put Erden. I don't use. I probably use it the least. But you know what? I'll put it on one of them. Same with Axie. I don't use. I use. Actually, I probably use Axie the least. Erden the second least. And I think to finish off, we'll do an extra fire on the hands. Now I'm loaded up. Now I'm looking sexy. You know what else we're gonna do to look sexy? Die me, bro. Do I want my gear to be black? Oh, purple would be awesome. Let's make my armor. Oh, you can actually preview it. Okay. I'm glad you could preview it before you actually do it. Okay. Die remover. Okay. Yellow. I wish I had more of the same color. I would love to go all decked out in the same color. I might rock uh, default until I have more colors. All right. So anyway, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I didn't look at the mutation thing. I didn't even look at it. Okay, hold on. Uh, mutations. Press Y to open the mutation panel. Oh, mama. To use mutations, first you must research them. To do this, you must choose one of the available mutations. Okay. Deadly counter. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents, immune to counterattacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counterattack immediately triggers a finisher. Okay. Needs two greater red mutagens for that. Okay. For your mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote the required number of ability points and mutagens. Choose one of the advanced mutations. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. To develop advanced mutation, we first develop the other ones. Yeah, okay. It's like a fucking tree. We get it. We get it. Okay, so this one I need greater red. This one I have enough blue for. Signs can deal critical hits. Their critical hit chance and damage increased with sign intensity. Or 
Each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount. Ooh, I like that one. I don't have enough green or red for those at the moment, but I can get them easily. Let's just pop this real quick because we can. I also got a freaking achievement for that, apparently. What is this? Improved by researching meta. Each stage unlocks a new ability slot. Yo. Hell yeah, I want that. One more upgrade and I can do that. I might be able to do a bunch of this right now. Oh, I only have two more ability points, though. But I can do one more level up, so maybe I will do that right now. I just need the, I just need the mutagens. Let's make some mutagens. I should have enough lesser mutagens for a lot of things. Like, look how much blue I have. Jesus. Um, and green. I should have a bunch of red now, too. Not enough. Not enough, sadly. So, wait. What's the one DJ was talking about? This one. I can use blue to make green now. Here's the answer to your question. I can use blue to make green. I don't really care about making green. I have hella green, <laughs> but I could. So wait, I wanna make another greater red one if I can. So I need two of these. So now I have a greater red. And then I need one more greater blue as well. And I should be able to do two more mutations, or at least one more mutation for now. I think I'm going to go with the red one for now. And I'll get the green one. Uh, the green one's pretty cool, too. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I made a blue one. I needed a green one. I'm stupid. Well, we're doing the red one, then. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, next time I will bo I will bop this one with an extra green. In fact, I'm going to make it a green one real quick just to have it. Because I'm an idiot and I made a blue one. I don't know why. Alright. Now I have enough green for that. Cool. Cool. So there's four extra ability slots you can unlock. That is pretty sick. I like that. Four more ability slots. I'm excited about that. Because I think what I can do, it looks like if they're not attached to the mutagens on the side, which I don't know if that's the case yet, if they're not, I'll probably just put these 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 regular ones there. These, you know, the ones that aren't connected to a certain mutagen, and then I can put mutagen ones there and we'll be hella awesome. I'm actually excited about that. In fact, don't I get a slot right now? Hold up. Yeah, ability slot to unlock one. Did I not unlock a new one? Huh? Number of research machines for the next stage four. I guess I didn't. I didn't get it yet. Am I stupid? I guess I didn't get it yet. That's the idea. All right. Well, whatever. Either way, cool beans. Um, let's move on. The power cell for portals feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna s give it a sign. No? Give it a sign? Are you, are you sure? Oh, you know what? There's a crystal right there, idiot. I didn't see that crystal at first. Okay, see ya. Alright, we've unlocked mutations, bitchin'. That's actually exciting. That's definitely a major thing to unlock for a DLC especially. Something that actually lets you improve your character even more. That's pretty awesome. 